Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. This should be a big treat. Parrish, my, my brother sent me this from California. Uh, he sent a note with this, and this is a beer that debuted at a beer fest that I attended last month. This beer was one of my favorites of the fest, and I'm so glad I was able to get one for you and me. Enjoy. I enjoy everything you send, Parrish. Uh, I mean, I don't think you've ever sent me a bad beer. Everything that you send has been freaking awesome. Your taste in beer is as keen as mine, if not better. Uh, you, you definitely know good beer. No doubt about it, guy. Uh, the, uh, the beer is a collaboration beer between uh, them. And let me just read to you the commercial description here, guys, that I have. Uh, this is Valiant Cher Cherny Medved. I guess that's how it's pronounced. I guess it looks like it's Russian style. Uh, it is a Russian Imperial Stout, and uh, they're out of Valiant Brewing is out of Orange, California. This is a 13 percenter, guys. This is a monster beer, pretty big. Not quite as big as the Avery one, but it's 13 percenter is pretty big beer. Uh, commercial description on this one says we would like to welcome Cherny Medved to the Valiant family. Cherry Medved is the Orange County Brew Haha -ha, collaboration beer this year. We teamed up with Black Market Brewing Company to make a 13% Russian Imperial Stout with smoked malt, cherries, vanilla, and oak. The beer will be av available in the tasting room for a draft for a limited time only. We also have a coffee variant on tap. Bottles will go on sale December the 13th. So this one has not been out very long. I mean, it's very fresh. He was probably at the, the, the debut when they, they brought this beer out. And I feel pretty damn lucky that he uh, they picked one up for me, for little old me. Uh, that's all it has in that. So let's go over to the food pairing. Cheese's Buttery Brie Gouda Havarti Swiss. And since it is a stout, it goes well with your chocolate dishes. Means beef, smoked meat, game, and grilled meat. Glass bar and plank, Becker, non ink tumbler, snifter, oversized wine glass. I brought out the double glass for this one. And according to this, it says it can be sour for a long, long time. And I would just love to put this in the fridge downstairs and keep it for a year or two or five or whatever. But like I tell you guys all the time, y'all spend your harder money on this and, and pay to ship it out to me. Uh, I feel kind of obligated to, to do it in a timely manner. So let's do it. Nice hiss on this one. A lot of smoke coming out of the top of that. 13%? If they could have produced a head, let's find out. Let's go down the center. This is a bomber, a 22 ouncer. About a finger of head on that pour. Boy, it's been a good looking beer. I'm, I'm really impressed when I get these monster beers, 13, 14, 15 percenters, and I pour them down the center and they do produce a head like this. So. And this is a room temperature glass. I mean, if you was to pour this in a chilled glass, it would probably foam over the top of it if you poured it that aggressive. But being room temperature, it, it kind of. Uh, holds that uh, monster head down a little bit a lot of times not always you've seen him you see him sometimes I'll pop a cap and they'll spew across the room or, and all over me and and sometimes uh, you know they're uh, they're they're pretty subtle so uh, very nice and it's dissipating quickly it's down to about a half a finger over to the light there is none no light coming through this beer it's pitch black guys which I kind of expected for a 13% Russian Imperial style. I really did. 
But let's get a nose on this and see what we got. <clears throat> Ooh. Oh, man. I'm getting the smoke malt. It's got a nice smokiness to it. Cherries are there. Chocolate is there. A little bit of the alcohol is there. Yeah, 13%. What do you think? Oh, but it's got a nice smokiness to it. Wow. And this is just going to improve as it warms up the room temperature. I mean, that smokiness will come out, and that chocolate will come out, and the cherries will probably come out, and then probably some tobacco, and some, maybe some licorice or some dark fruit. Mmm, that smells good. Let's give it a taste. Let's get it on. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Paris, my brother. Do appreciate it, sir. Now that's damn tasty. Nice, full, rich mouthfeel on this beer. Nice sweetness on the front, just enough bitterness on the back end to make it nice. I am definitely getting that chocolate. It almost tastes like a Belgian chocolate to me. Got a nice sweetness to it. I would think that they use some lactose in this beer to have it this sweet. Well, it almost says like a candy bar. A 13% candy bar. Well, that is delicious, guys. That is freaking delicious. I can see why this was his favorite at, at the beer fest that he attended. This is awesome. And I've not had anything from these guys before. From either one of them. From Valiant or Black Market. I'm getting a, that hint of uh, some dark fruit in there now. We're going to let it warm up before I sit here and drink all of it right in front of you. I even fire up a little cigar with this and uh, sip on it for about 45 minutes or so. If I can, it's so damn tasty, I might drink it faster than that. I'll come back when we do the final chug on this. And this one looks pretty, looks pretty damn impressive to me. I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. I just sort of left here. I've been sitting on about 45 minutes or so. The other half loved it. Absolutely loved it. And I think it's pretty damn tasty myself. The only drawback I have to this, even though I know it's a fresh beer, it was just introduced. It's a collaboration between these two breweries. I would like to see them put a year on it. I mean, it, uh, on a 13 percenter, this beer is going to keep 5, 10, 15, 20 years down the road. But I'd like to see a year on the label or on the bottle somewhere, and, and, it, and it has none. So uh, let's do the final chug. Wonderful aroma for a 13 percenter. I mean, I've had 7 and 8 percenters that were more boozy than this. So very well-made beer. The cherries are there. The chocolate is there. The dark roasted malt is there. Uh, hints of licorice and tobacco and some dark fruit. Very, very tasty beer. Paris, I know why you like this. This is a damn tasty beer. I'd like to have some other some beers that uh, Valiant has done or Black Market has done just to see uh, uh, if, if those guys know what they're doing individually or if this is just a one-time deal that they did and, and kind of uh, randomly hit the mark on this one. So, But this is pretty damn tasty. Very easy drinking for a 13%. Wow. Kind of blown away that it is as smooth as it is for a 13%. Very well done beer. Very well done. My hat's off to these guys for this beer. This is an awesome beer. I'm on the fence between a 9 and a 10. If it had a year on the label, I'd probably give this a 10. But it does not. And like I said, uh, I... 
don't think it has a huge distribution. I've not heard of the, either one of these breweries before. They're definitely not here in the, on the East Coast, but this is pretty damn delicious. So, uh, guys, uh, like I said, if it had a, if it had a year on the on the label or printed on the bottle somewhere, I would probably go ahead and give it to ten. But I'm gonna give it to nine out of ten. Very damn tasty. I'm right on the fence. If I was printing a numeric rating on this, it would be a 98 or a 99. It's that damn good. It's pretty damn tasty. Very delicious. If you're into the Russian Imperial Stouts, this is the only way this could be better would be bourbon barrel aged. And, uh, it is not, but it is so smooth drinking for a 13%. Got everything that you want to taste in a, in a Russian Imperial Stout. So very well, very well done. Very, very, very well. With that being said, let's see what everybody else thinks. We'll go over to Beer Advocate first, and Beer Advocate says, No score needs more ratings. They don't have any, and let's see, they got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guys. I mean, to me, they can, once you get above five, they ought to be able to put some kind of number on it, and they choose not to. And over to Rate Beer, Rate Beer says the same thing. No score requires more ratings. It has one, two, and it only has two, guys, two people that have uh, posted comments on this beer. So I can understand why they're not doing it, but you know, could you get at least five? You want to put some kind of number on it. I mean, how many how many people got to make a comment on this beer to, to give it a rating? So I do not know, but I'm gonna give it a rating. Like I said, I give it nine out of 10, very tasty. Uh, if it had a year on it, it'd probably get to 10 for me. So, with that being said, if you've had this one, uh, let me know what you think of it. This is the collaboration between Valiant and Black Market. Very, very tasty. Paris, thanks again, brother. I enjoyed this thoroughly, and so did she. She loved it. She likes these big beers like this, especially when they're as smooth and easy drinking as this one is. Got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, this beer, you could probably sell her, for, like I said, for 5, 10, 15, even 20 years. Uh, I'd like to see what this beer would taste like in five or ten years. That uh, it, it, I guarantee you it's, it, it's going to be an awesome beer. So anybody that's got one of these put away in their in their fridge or the cellar or in their closet, whatever, uh, it's, a, it's a good one to, to keep. If I'd had two of them. I'd, I'd put one away for for a few years and see how it changes and and if anything. Uh, uh, mellows out a little bit or, or, or what all happens in the beer after about five or ten years so with that being said guys very damn tasty so if you've had this one let me know what you think and let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow guys see everybody then